If you want to stay motivated on a given endeavour, then we're going to cover one of the most effective ways to achieve this using the Locus Rule. The Locus Rule focuses on shaping our locus of control, focusing on our internal locus of control as opposed to external, something we'll delve deeper into during the course of this video. Now, to help me explain how to apply the Locus Rule, I'm going to use an example with YouTube, which I think will directly apply to many of you who also create content on the platform. So with that said, let's look at how to stay motivated using the Locus Rule. Number 1. Identify your goal To begin, we often talk about motivation, but the starting point to get and use motivation to our benefit begins with identifying what you want to achieve to begin with. This means to identify your goal, initially at a high level purpose on why you're beginning to start this journey, and then individual goals you intend to hit to make this a reality. Let's take YouTube as an example. People begin creating content on the platform for various reasons, whether it be to become famous, to make money, or just because they love to create content. It's no different for me, I found myself seeking to go past my natural comfort zone in life, learn and develop new skills, and create content that's of value to people. Number 2. Identify what you need to achieve your goal once you know what you're working towards, you need to identify what you need to achieve to succeed in making your high level goal a reality. Another way to look at this, consider the milestones you need to reach to get closer to that goal, which can provide guidance on the direction you need to take. Going back to YouTube, imagine having two creators, both of which want to achieve success on the platform and both of which intend to build businesses on the back of it. While both have the same end goal, the path they choose to get there might vary significantly, as while one might hope for millions of views to make great income off AdSense, another might want to funnel traffic from YouTube to services they offer, so it's vital to identify this. Number 3. Identify variables in your control so now you've got your goal and a path to get there, the next step is to identify variables that will help you reach that goal and which ones you can control. This is where the locus rule and the internal and external locus of control come into play, as you see studies have shown that when people feel that they can control results, they feel more motivated to reach them. So at this step, it's vital to identify what it is you can control, or do to try and help you hit your target, that will help you to reach your goal. In the case of YouTube, this would be to follow best practices, to engage in communities, to share your content in places you know you can, and so forth. So going back to our two creators on YouTube, let's say the creator working to build services chooses to focus efforts on variables they control, while the other tries to depend on the algorithm in hopes that their videos are shared. Which do you think is going to feel greater levels of frustration? It's going to be the latter, because as creators we have no control over which videos the algorithm picks up, so many times our efforts feel in vain, even if we follow best practices. Therefore, it's important to focus on the next step. Number 4. Create plan focused on controllable variables Let's keep with our two YouTubers for the moment. One chooses to focus on variables they can control, whereas the other chooses to try and depend on the algorithm. Now we know the latter can only do a limited number of actions to gain exposure, which are to follow best practices to do what the algorithm likes and post their videos. If videos fail to perform, they lose motivation as they feel frustration, again caused by the fact that we can't control what the algorithm will push. However, the creator who focuses on their internal locus of control, or the variables they have control over, can always try to continue taking action to grow, such as finding more places and people to share content with, adjusting content to better meet the needs of their audience, and following an upload schedule. However, to meet this need to take action, it's vital to set up a plan, such as planning content to meet needs, ensuring quality control, and publishing steps to upload and share content, helping you then to Number 5. Action on Controlled Variables 
The final and most critical step is to take action to follow through, as what you'll often find is that when you take action on what you can control, you'll get feedback, positive or negative, that you can then build on. For our YouTube creator who set out their plans, this is amazing, because with them focusing on their internal locus of control, they use this feedback to build on what works, and amend in areas where it doesn't. Slowly, but consistently, taking steps to grow. For the YouTube creator who focuses on the external locus of control, such as the algorithm pushing content, they don't have control over their success. The fact is, out of the two YouTubers, in times of difficulty, only the one that applies the locus rule is likely to stay motivated, making them significantly more likely to continue to achieve their goal. Were you previously aware of the locus rule? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest upload. Thanks for watching.